A man believed to be the last Pearl Harbor survivor from Lackawanna County was laid to rest today. Walter Payshock died last Sunday. Eyewitness News reporter Ravathy Janiswamy takes us to the emotional send-off to honor this local hero's life and legacy. I miss him terribly. I miss him so much right now. Dozens of people came out to say their last goodbyes to World War II hero Walter Payshock. The Scranton native was just 19 years old when Pearl Harbor was attacked. It's hard to believe what such a young person at that age went through. You know, he was so young and and um, all the awards, all the medals and stars he got were certainly well deserved. Eyewitness News spoke with Payshock during a Pearl Harbor Remembrance event in 2018. He said he was leaving the mess hall that December day in 1941 when he heard the Japanese planes overhead. I had breakfast and I was ready to go on duty. But the attack changed plans. I had to go to the, med uh, to the, to the supply room, get a machine gun and go up on a hill and fire at any aircraft that came over. On Saturday, Payshock was buried at Sacred Heart Cemetery in Scranton. Charlie Spano met Payshock while working on a 75th annual Pearl Harbor Remembrance Project. Walter was the last living link to an era that is rapidly closing. Um, people of his generation who saved the world from tyranny are passing from the scene and we really need to remember why they did what they did to preserve our freedom and maintain their legacy. Sika says she is so proud of her uncle. You know, if he ever saw all this going on for him, he just wouldn't believe it. But um, he deserves every bit of it. He, he's truly a hero and he's from the greatest generation. In Scranton, Raithi Janaswamy, Eyewitness News. The greatest generation for sure. Walter Payshock was 98. His death came two months after contracting COVID-19.